Yeah. Hi, this is Ferdas Halimi, your 9th grade mathematics instructor. Today we are going to study a new concept in mathematics called algebraic expressions. Okay, students, in our daily life we may face with so many problems and in order to get out these problems we have to uh, use algebra as a tool. It means we should be able to translate a verbal phrase into algebraic expression, yes. Assume that you are 15 years old. In one year, your age will be 15 plus 1. In two years, your age will be 15 plus 2. And in three years, your age will be 15 plus 3. And so on. In x years, your age will be 15 plus x. Look, 15 plus x. What does this x mean? x represents one or more numbers. So, x is called a variable. Let's have a definition for variables. What's variable? Variable is a letter which is used to represent a numerical quantity. And we often or usually use letters like X, Y, Z, T, and N to show a what? To a variable. Okay. Did you study? Did you understand the uh, definition of the variables? Okay. Let's talk about the algebraic expression, the specific definition for algebraic expression. What's that? Algebraic expression is the combination of numbers, variables, operations, and grouping signs. Let's open a tab. For example, 5 in parentheses n minus 2. 5 times n minus 2. In here, 5 represent number. This parentheses represent the grouping sign and represent the variable and minus represent the operation. So the combination of these four parts are called an algebraic expressions. Let's see the second example, x plus 5. In here, x represent the variable plus, represent the operation, and 5 represent the number. Third example, 3 times y. So, what's the operation between 3 and y? Okay, multiplication. So, we have a multiplication operation here, we have a number, and we have a variable. So, it's called an algebraic expression. And for example, 2x plus 5y. We have two operations. The first is addition between 2 and x is multiplication and between 5 and y is also multiplication. So we have operations, two numbers, 5 is also a number, and also we have two variables. So the combination of these four parts are called a what? An algebraic expression. Okay, an algebraic expression which comprises a single real number or the product of a real number with one or more than one variables raised to whole number power is called a monomial. Okay, guys, pay attention. The power should be whole number. What's, what was whole number you have studied in eighth grade? It starts from zero. For example, six. Six is a monomial. Minus two x to the power of three. It's also a monomial. Why? Because we have a real number. Minus two is the real number. X is the variable and three is the power of the x. That it's from whole number. 5a squared b cubed. Real number, variable, two variables. Doesn't matter. We, we have said that with one or more than one variables. Okay, minus 7 over 2. It's a real number. It also, it's also a monomial. 3x to the power of 4, y, z to the power of 5. It's also a monomial. We have one real number and three variables that their powers are whole numbers. Okay, we have said that it's a real number, they are variables. Okay, so what's the specific name of the numbers that comes right before the variables? Okay, each real number preceding the variable or variables in a monomial is called the coefficient. It means the real number that comes right before the variable is called the coefficient. For example, in here, 6. 6 is the coefficient because 6 times 1 is equal to 6 times x to the power of 0. It means it's also monomial. So, what is the variable of 6? x to the power of 0. Okay, then 6 
is the coefficient. And here, minus 2x to the power of 3. What's the coefficient? Minus 2. In this monomial, 5a squared b cubed, our, monomial, our uh, coefficient is 5. And here, like 6, minus 7 over 2 is the coefficient itself. And also, 3x to the power of 4, y, z to the power of 5 is the monomial, and our coefficient is the number 3. Okay, so what's polynomial? Polynomial is the sum or difference of a set of monomials. It means in a polynomial, polynomial consists of one or more than one monomials that the operation between the monomials or the terms are sum or different. It means addition or subtraction. For example, let's see. 4x to the power of 3 plus 5x minus 3. We have how many monomials? 4x to the power of 3 is a monomial, 5x is a monomial, and 3 is also a monomial. Sum or difference. It can be also like 4x, square, 4x cubed plus 5x plus 3. Doesn't matter. The operations doesn't matter, okay? Just pay attention to the number of terms. If it's more than one term, then it's called a polynomial. Okay. Let's see the other examples. 5xy squared plus 4x plus 3y. It's also... A polynomial. Why? Because we have more than one monomials. Each monomial is also called a term. It means this polynomial has got three terms. First term, second term, and the third term. Okay, let's see this. Minus 7 a cubed b cubed plus 4 a b square. This is a polynomial. It consists of how many terms? Yes, two terms. Minus 1 a to the power of 3 b to the power of 3 is our first term. The second term 4 a b to the power of 2. They are all example of polynomials. Okay, certain polynomials are given special names according to their number of terms and also according to their degrees. Okay, we will study the degree later, okay? First of all, according or depending on the number of terms, we give special names to the polynomials. Monomial, binomial, trinomial. Monomial is a polynomial which consists of just one term. Binomial is a polynomial which consists of two terms. Trinomial is a polynomial which consists of how many terms? Yes, three terms. Okay, in the next session we will study the degree of the polynomial. Okay, we have said that we give special names according to the number of terms to the polynomials. So, also we give special names according to the number of their degrees. So, first of all, we have to know what's the degree. The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponent of variables. It means that if you have a monomial 5x squared y, its degree is 3. Why? Because we have two variables. We have to calculate or we have to add the power of the variables. So, in here, what's the power of x? 2. The power of y is 1. If we add 2 plus 1, we get 3. So, this monomial has degree 0. Uh, sorry, 3. 6 a to the power of 4 has degree 4 because how many vari variables do we have? Just one variable and the power of that a is 4. Then this monomial has degree 4. Minus 3 m square m cubed has degree 5 because we have two variables which their powers are 2 and 3. And if we go if you're going to add them, we get 5. So this monomial has degree 5. In here, minus 24. Minus 24 is also a monomial. They are like uh, constant terms. It means they don't have any variables. Minus 24 has degree 0. Why? Because minus 24 is equal to minus 24 times x to the power of 0. In here, x to the power of 0 is 1. Minus 24 times 1 is equal to minus 24. So, in constant terms, the degree of constant terms are what? 0. Okay, this was the degree of the monomial. So, how can we calculate the degree of the polynomial? In order to calculate the degree of polynomial, what should we do? The degree of polynomial is the highest degree of the terms in polynomial. It means we are going to calculate the uh, degree of each monomial separately and the highest degree of that monomial is the degree of the whole polynomial. For example, minus x, x to the power of 5, plus 4x cubed, minus 7. This is a polynomial. It consists of how many terms? Three terms. What was the special name that we have given to this? Yes, trinomial. 
Okay, we are going to calculate the each term uh, degree of the term. First term minus x x to the power of five. How many variables do we have? Just one. X to the power of five. The degree of uh, this monomial is five. Four x to the power of three. The power of x is three, so the degree of this monomial or term is three. Minus seven. What was minus seven? Minus seven was constant term. It means there is no any variables. So the uh, the degree of that monomial is zero. So five is greater than three and greater than zero. So this polynomial's degree is five. Okay, according to the number of degrees, now we have studied and we know that how to calculate the degree of what? The degree of polynomials. So in here, we have said that according to the degree, we, according to the degree, we give special names to the what? Polynomial. If our polynomial has degree first, it means the degree of our polynomial is 1, then we call it the linear polynomial. If the degree of polynomial is 2, it means it's a quadratic polynomial. And if the degree of our polynomial is 3, then we can call it a cubic polynomial. Okay, uh, I think it's enough for today. We are going to uh, continue for the next session. Thank you for the listening.